Yan, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang... <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys Hi guys, so we're back ano? And uh, today's lesson nga is the continuation of our lesson Last time which is solving nonlinear equations Or system of nonlinear equations by substitution So today naman, uh, we will solve system of nonlinear equations by elimination Okay, so let's have our first example ano? Let's say we have y squared minus 4x minus 6y equals 11. And 4 multiplied by 3 minus x equals y minus 3 squared. Ay, sorry. Lumalabo eh. Yan. So, again, that is our system of nonlinear equations. Okay? So, they are both quadratic equations. Therefore, they are non linear. Okay, now, uh, the method is by elimination. So, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng terms na may eliminate It is either x or y squared or y. Okay? So, either. Kahit alin sa dalawa yung ating may eliminate Basta, kailangan meron tayong ma-eliminate. Ngayon, the first step here ay to expand. Ano? Expand natin itong second equation. Kasi hindi pa siya expanded eh, no? Yung first equation natin, expanded na siya. Yung pangalawa, hindi pa. So, kailangan, they are both in expanded form. Right? So, expand lang natin ito. In equation 2, ano? So, by expanding, multiply mo lang yung 4 doon sa parenthesis, ano? So, 4 multiply by 3, that is 12. 4 multiply by negative x, that is negative 4x. Equals, itong y minus 3 squared, expand lang natin, no? By special product. So, to expand this one, I square mo lang yung first term. We have y squared. And then, to find the middle term, kunin mo yung operation. Multiply mo yung dalawa. We have 3 multiply by y. So, we have 3y. Then, multiply mo sa 2. So, we have 6y. Then, I square mo yung last term, which is 9. Now, combining like terms, ano? To combine like terms, uh, transpose natin ito sa kabila. Alright? Itong uh, 12 minus 4x dun sa kanan. Okay? By transposing, magiging y squared, no? Copyin lang natin to. Minus 6y plus 9. From positive, magiging negative. So, minus 12. From positive, magiging, eh, from negative, magiging positive. Alright? Equals 0. Then, combine mo lang itong 9 and negative 12. We have y squared, and then uh, plus 4x, ano? plus 4x, minus 6y, 9 minus 12, that is negative 3, ano? equals 0. Ngayon mga kaibigan, kung napansin niyo yung ating equation number 1, nakalabas yung constant, ano? So ilalabas lang natin yung constant para maging kamukha sila ng itsura. So, y squared plus 4x minus 6y equals 3. Okay? So, sabihin natin ito equation 3. Now, pag samayin natin yung equation 1 and equation 3, tignan natin kung meron tayong may eliminate, ano? Equation 1 and equation 3. So, yung equation 1 natin is y squared minus 4x minus 6y equals 11. Yung equation 2 natin is y squared plus 4x minus 6y equals 3. 
Okay? So, kung mapapasin ninyo, magkamukha ito, magkamukha ito, magkamukha din yan, ano? Pinagkaiba lang yung sign ng 4X, eh, nung 4X, ano? Dito is negative, ito ay positive. Okay, now, we know that if we add uh, a uh, number na magkamukha, pero magkaiba ang sign, that will be zero. Di ba, alimbawa, negative 1 plus positive 1, that is zero. Right? So, if we add negative 4X and positive 4X, that will be 0. Meaning, may eliminate natin yun. Okay? So, meaning, i-add lang pala natin, ano? Add lang natin itong ating dalawang equations para may eliminate natin yung 4X. Na? Now, let us add Y squared plus Y squared. That is 2Y squared. Negative 4X plus 4X. So, that will be 0. Okay? Then, negative 6y plus negative 6y, so magiging minus 12y. Equals, 11 plus 3, we have 14. Then, they have a common factor of 2, no? so divide both sides by 2. Therefore, uh, our equation now is y squared minus 6y equals 7. Now, to solve for y here, no? kailangan makuha natin yung value ng y. Uh, transpose ko yung 7 dun sa kabila para magkaroon tayo ng quadratic equation. Ayan. So, since meron na tayong quadratic equation, we can now factor this out. Dito ko na lang nalagay. Ayan. So, ito, lalagay ko dito, ha. Factor na natin ito. Na, ano ba factors nyan? To solve for the value of y. So, y and y. Ayan. Equals 0. So, ano ang factors ng negative 7 na kapag inad natin ang sagot ay negative 6? So, obviously, negative 7 and positive 1. Diba? If we multiply negative 7 and positive 1, that is negative 7. Pag inad mo ang negative 7 and 1, the answer is negative 6. Okay, so these are the factors now. Meaning, the value of y now is y minus 7 equals 0, tsaka y plus 1 equals 0. Now, to uh, solve for y, Transpose nyo lang, ano? So, from negative, magiging positive. Therefore, our y sub 1 is 7. Then, yung y sub 2 natin is negative 1. Okay, so, meron na tayong values ng y. By using this series of steps. Okay, now, meron na tayong y. Solve na, tayo, solve na natin yung ating uh, x, ano? Okay, now, to solve for x, play lang natin yan para magkaroon tayo ng space para sa solution natin, ano? Hindi ko na tatanggalin itong y values. Solve na natin yan, eh. Ayan. So, balik tayo dun sa original equations natin, ano? Gamitin ko na lang yung uh, first equation. Na? So, y squared minus 4x minus 6y equals 11. Ito na yung mga y values natin. Balik na natin dun sa y, okay? So, yung y... Papalitan natin ng yung una nating y is 7, ano? So, 7, 7 squared, minus 4x, minus 6y, ay yung y natin is 7 na nga pala, ano? Equals 11. Then, simplify lang natin, ano? 7 squared is 49, minus 4x, minus 42, equals 11. Na-combine like terms, pag samasamayan lang natin yung uh, constants, ano? So, negative 4x, may iiwan yan. Lipat natin itong 49, tsaka negative 42 sa kabila. So, 11 minus 49 plus 42. Tama? So, negative 4x is equal to uh, negative 49 plus 42, that is negative 7. Then, 11 minus 7 is 4. Therefore, our x value is negative 1. Na? Ibig sabihin pala, kung yung y natin is 7, yung x niya is negative 1. Therefore, our first point, sa ko ba lalagay? Dito na lang, na? Our first point, dito na lang sa baba. Uh, our first point is, or yung, isang, or yung first ordered pair natin is, negative 1, 7. Na, alamin pa natin yung second ordered pair. Now, sa pangalawang ordered pair, substitute natin yung y na equals negative 1. Alright? Dito na lang. 
If y is negative 1, ano yan? Minus 4x minus 6 multiplied by negative 1 equals 11. Okay, so again, simplify. So we have 1 minus 4x plus 6 equals 11. Okay, then transpose constants on the other side. May iwan yung 4x, or I mean negative 4x equals, so yung 11, then transpose mo yung 1, magiging negative 1. Transpose mo yung 6, magiging negative 6. So, you have, you have negative 4x equals 11 minus 1 is 10. Tama, no? Minus 6, we have 4. No? Therefore, um, x is also negative 1. Diba? 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. Ibig sabihin pala, so ito x sub 1, ito x sub 2. Yung pangalawang pair natin is negative 1 and negative 1. So, from here, ano, this is our final answer. The ordered pair, negative 1, 7, and negative 1, negative 1. Okay? So, that's it now for today's lesson, mga kaibigan. We uh, solve system of nonlinear equation by elimination. Alright? So, kita-kita tayo sa susunod na video, mga kaibigan. And, uh, yun. God bless.